So hello my YouTubers, good evening, this is Miss Alana from MissAlanaThickDream.com Yvette Johnson on your Facebook, Thick Dream here Hello ATL underscore Thick Dream from your Twitter baby So I'm laying it down, I'm going to do another um, end of the day thoughts here um, I'm kind of itchy, I was out doing a, um, a nature commune today with mother nature and doing my meditation and doing a little hiking earlier today had some me time with me and the divine the divine and then i took myself to the gym on this so lovely sunday here well so when i went to the gym and i'm, I'm kind of like i'm like tearing up here um about to laugh went into the gym i looked to my immediate right who did I see? My orthopedic surgeon. My knee surgeon. Oh my goodness, y'all. You talk about somebody wanted to just drop and run out the door. Okay, just pew and just run back out the door. Why? Because my orthopedic doctor was telling me he was so against me going back into the gym i just had knee surgery he just went in there repaired my meniscus and got rid of that gen degenerative you know wear from my arthritis and he was wanting me to do physical therapy he looked at me like this hard-headed woman is up in this gym y'all he know me doc you know me I'm not one to sit around on my ass and going like three times a week to the physical therapist and I can just go to the gym and that would be my like third time going to the PT. I didn't want to. Actually, it would have been, no, I'm sorry, third or fourth going to physical therapy. So anyway, and I'm just still so itchy from being outside. Mm, I love mother nature, but you know, I got ate up by some mosquitoes. Um, so, I went into panic mode today at the gym. I didn't know how to react. I'm like, oh my god, 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 that's my knee surgeon. Oh my god, that's my surgeon. Oh my god, that's my doctor. Oh my god. So, I pretended as if I did not see him. I went into the bathroom. Something about the bathroom when you're in a state of panic. It just, put some cold water in your face. Like, what the fuck is really going on? I'm going to ask the situation. Like, Snap out of it! Get it together! Anyway, I started texting folk and asking them, like, oh my god, what should I do and how am I going to react? Actually, you know, usually when I text people, it's to help me talk over a situation, you know, out loud. Not that I'm going to take their advice at all. I just do that. I don't know. Weirdness. Weirdness in me. But anyway, so... Um... Went on there texting folks and went through the whole emotion, panicking, like, oh my god, um, should I go hard like I normally do in the gym, or should I just ease up a little bit in the gym? Uh, he is doing a report because I am under a lawsuit from when I slipped and fell last year, so I kind of want him to, you know, put some extra sour sauce on that, you know, medical report when the um company is asking for medical records you know what i'm saying dog need to hook it look hook it up for a sister you know and um i stayed in the bathroom for like five minutes y'all five flipping minutes tripping the fuck out because my surgeon was in there in the same gym i'm like damn it damn it damn it why everybody gotta go to the same gym that I go to? Why? 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 Huh. <sighs> Star Trek is going on. The volume just went up out of nowhere. Okay. So. Let me turn this down. I'm not trying to get a strike on my, you know, folk thinking I'm trying to steal copyright music and shit. You know how YouTube get. Um, yeah. Anyway, so, um, I stayed in the bathroom for like five whole minutes going through my panic state. And, uh, I just was like, fuck it. I'm coming out here. I pay to go to this damn gym. Fuck this shit. 
I'm going out here and I'm going to work out because I just had a, a green tea from Dunkin' Donuts. So I was buzzing and I wanted to get my workout in because I had my buzz going on and I'm going to do this shit. So anyway, um, I just like, you know what? I'm just going to go work out. Pretend like he's not my doctor. He's a regular human being. You know, do your thing, girl. Do your thing. Get in the gym and do your thing, right? Do what you do. It's Sunday. Pretty much nobody's in here. Just you, Doc, and some little other kid. You know, I think it was his son. Anyway, I'm thinking I'm going to totally avoid Doc. Not, you know, lock eyes. There was no type of cleanser. You know, the little handy wipes. Handy wipes that you clean the equipment off with in the spray. None of that was in the weekend. It was a Sunday. Oh, my flipping goodness. So I had to walk past Doc, you know, to get the spray. And then when I come back, because I hadn't locked eyes with him when I went across the gym. When I came back, he changed his equipment. So guess what? As soon as I turn around, it's Doc looking at me. He's on the leg press, staring right dead at me. And all I did was like, walking with my headphones in like yes I gave him the Beverly Hill Billy's way and smile and I kept it moving and he looked at me like y'all he was looking at me like eagle eye like how's that fucking leg looking how's it looking right is she gonna be back in here again because her hard headed ass no, she wasn't supposed to be in this gym. Is she walking straight? How is her gait? And for those of you who don't know what a gait is, the gait is in the manner of how you walk, whether it's with a limp, whether it's straight, or you have a certain stride in the way you walk. That's what your gait is, okay? I didn't have an angulated gait, if you will. Yes, I know med- medical terminology. Yes, I know med terms. Um, no, my gait was not angulated. That means it wasn't tilted to the side, okay? And it was not a limp. Okay, in my gait, I had a regular stride in my walk. And I also had my copper fit on <laughs> that Mr. Man had bought me. But anyway, um, apparently he was impressed. I got on the bicycle. I didn't do anything strenuous at first. Got on the bicycle and I stayed on the bicycle. And next thing you know, poof, he was gone. I didn't even see him leave. That's so weird. But anyway, uh, I don't know why I panicked. I, I just know, I just, I don't know why I panicked. Just because you would think he would be a member to like a, you know, different type of like a country club type gym. You're a doctor, you know, you for Pete's sake. But hey, I guess he liked to spend money too, you know, and work out whenever without being disturbed. So maybe that's the reason why he joined because that gym is kind of low key, if you will. So anyway, I had a pretty good, decent day. Um, May is going to be a busy month for me. That's the reason why I'm really, really, really been um, on my whole um, getting in the gym thing. It's my 10 year anniversary as Miss Atlanta, Miss Atlanta Thick Dream. It is, it is 10 years of being a web diva, web persona, entertainer, et cetera, et cetera. And so May is going to be a busy month for me and I'm so excited. Um... And I'm really going to stay focused on doing some projects because it's my 10 year anniversary. Ah, the crowd was wild. Ah, yes, 10 years. <laughs> 10 years of doing this thing, YouTube. Okay, 10 years. Oh my God. Um, and I'm excited. I don't really have anything in particular um, planned, unfortunately, but I, you know, I'm just going to play it by ear. That's how I do. Hmm. Mm, that's how I do. But yeah, 10 year anniversary of being Thick Dream here on the internet is coming up here. Is it 12 o'clock yet? Damn it. Let me see. Is it 12 o'clock? Let's see. Is it oh, almost in my 10 year anniversary? But it's technically not my 10 year until I believe May. I have to go check the um, web page that I have and see. If, yeah. But anyway, yeah, May is when I opened up the account. Way back when. Oh my goodness. 2007. But anyway, um, I don't really have any shares. 
I'm going to save that for later on in the week. But that was funny. It was funnier when it happened and I was really frantic. I wish I could just screenshot you the conversation that I sent to my friends about it. Just because I was in the utmost of shock. And I have these little, I don't know if you want to call it meltdowns. If Yeah, meltdown. I had a meltdown. That's what you call it. I had a meltdown at the gym today. Because I didn't know how to react seeing my surgeon there and see here's the thing my surgeon calls his patients like some of the the ladies in there and I'm one of them he calls us his little girls so of course I gave him the whole little little girl smile and wave like hi doc hi doc daddy hi doc daddy I'm doing good I'm at the gym doc daddy but I'm not in physical therapy you see I'm doing good mm-hmm yeah <laughs> yeah I gave him the little girly wipe. Yay. <laughs> that was funny. Little girl, be careful. I don't want you injuring yourself. I mean, he really was concerned. He's not an older doctor. So I was like, what? Was he fine? That was what my homegirl said. Is your doctor fine? No, but not, I don't even see him like that. Hold on, pause. I don't even see my surgeon as fine or ugly. He's my surgeon. And I know that he, you know, be looking because I know some things that I've seen with him. But that's my surgeon. He's a man, but I've never seen him in like, oh, is he cute? He's hot and all this other kind of stuff. Now, this this older, bright-skinned man that I saw at the gas station tonight on the way home. Uh, he could have got all the business if I was in the business of giving that type of business <laughs> because he was being flirtatious yeah i didn't entertain it i just said thank you have a good evening because he complimented me and he you know say you look real good and uh, anyway getting off subject getting off subject and a whole another other vlog about these here men out here yeah tis the season Tis the season. See y'all soon, YouTubers. Miss Atlantic Dream from MissAlanthicDream.com. Yvette Johnson on Facebook. I'm all tied. Look, I'm all tied up. Ready to go to bed. Ready to get in the... I'm in the bed, but ready to knock out. Ready to knock it out. Bye. And thank you for supporting me. Ten years of being a web entertainer. And I'm hoping that you all want my continued support to go on to other things bigger things bigger things bigger things bigger things commercial commercial things commercial acting commercial modeling yes bigger things aspirations still <laughs> i'm gonna do it okay that's the reason why i made this major transformation or transition into doing new things because I am in a opportunity state and I don't want that window to close, okay? I don't want it to close because I have not taken a big leap of faith yet in going into the commercial realm fully as a actress, as a motto, a model, okay? <sighs> it's coming. Mm. See you all. Soon. Miss Bye.